The Time Machine is a science fiction story by Herbert George Wells, and it was published in 1895. The story involves fascinating narratives with unparalleled implications on contemporary social concerns, and it gives insight to numerous scientific theories. Wells wrote the novel based on personal social and political views that were taking place in Victorian England. The narrative presents the theme of class struggle because, with the Industrial Revolution, the problem of class differences came up. In the narrative, the time traveler uses the time machine to take a journey to the future where he meets a small group of childlike adults called Aloy. The author describes Aloy as an idle and unproductive segment of beings evolving from the human race. On the other side, he meets the Morlocks, who have evolved to reverse the class struggle by taking control. Morlocks are ape-like creatures living underground during the day and on the surface during the night. The Morlocks represent the working classes, which are deprived of their social privileges, and thus they use cruelty to survive by preying on the Aloy. Wells argues that the Aloy have become increasingly ineffective due to loss of spirit and fitness, which is necessary for humanity to stay productive. As he delves in the future, the time traveler learns that class struggles persist as exhibited in the coexistence between the Aloy and the Morlocks. The time traveler's perception of the ultimate destination of humanity is realizable unless humankind adopts measures to minimize the class struggle. Weena shows a sense of gratitude and affection towards the time traveler, and they become friends. The time traveler's relationship with Aloy is contradictory. He implies that communism is the result of a carefree lifestyle, and he does not like this way of living. Wells implies that human intelligence should be utilized to make life easy because when people are satisfied, they relax, thus becoming weak and vulnerable. The time traveler learns about the Aloy and then notes that they exist in a negative society that is about to take a wrong turn if the trend of miserable workers and rich leaders persist. For example, the time traveler rescues an Aloy called Weena from drowning since the other Aloy members show no concern about her situation. Meanwhile, an affectionate relationship develops between them. The author notes that Weena possesses similar traits as the other Aloy, viz. She is dumb, weak, and childish. However, she has different personality characters like compassion, but other Aloy members have lost such human aspects. Even though the time traveler views the Aloy as frail, he generates more sympathy for them, especially when he meets Weena. Weena comes out as a different being from other Aloy, due to her appreciation and feelings of fondness towards the time traveler. When the time traveler speaks of the Morlocks, Weena becomes irritated, and she responds by crying, and this aspect highlights the view that she is different. On the other hand, when the time traveler burns a match, she starts clapping in amusement due to the fire. By acting humanly and sometimes different shows that some aspects change, but others remain unaltered no matter what happens to an individual. The Time Traveler and Weena's relationship is full of affection, for instance, they exchange flowers and hold each other to express their love for one another. The Time Traveler's theory is that the Morlocks form a class of useful workers who cater to the Aloy's needs. However, the Time Traveler realizes that the Morlocks take care of the Aloy in order to prey upon them later. The time traveler develops unparalleled sympathy for the Aloy after he realizes that capitalism had introduced division of labor in which the Aloy ancestors exploited workers referred to as Morlocks. His first theory about the fears of an uprising from below starts to develop with the Morlocks indulging in class warfare in which they appear to be dominant. The time traveler becomes fond of the Aloy because he learns that they are friendly and they can help him learn about their relationship with the Morlocks. Weena serves as his guide, although she is weak and sometimes childish. The time traveler feels disgusted when he notices that the Morlocks eat the Aloy. He concludes that the Aloy and the Morlocks represent the powerful versus the powerless in society, and the only progress expected in the future is humanity's quest to destroy each other. After meeting Weena, the time traveler's fears are confirmed for the Aloy have lost the will to strive, and thus they have become frail. 
This realization is heartbreaking as he has to handle the simplicity and frailty of Weena. In addition, the situation becomes complex given the brutality of the Morlocks. When scared, Weena cannot defend herself, and thus the time traveler has to carry her, which affects his ability to fight the Morlocks. As the time machine interacts with the world of the Alloy, Wells demonstrates some of the anxieties that are developing in the modernizing world of his time. The time's traveler's view of humanity is that the two subspecies, viz. the powerful and the powerless, will continue to prey over each other. The relationship between the two cannot allow true progress since class struggles persist. The time traveler insinuates that regression to a cruel state is possible, and the gradual extinction of humanity is imminent. His impression of the alloy is changed as he realizes that the master-servant relationship does not exist in the future, and the Morlocks have taken control. After the time machine travels back in time and gives his story about the future to his guests, they do not believe him. Even though he has no enough proof, he thinks that his thoughts on the ultimate end of humanity are impossible. Therefore, he decides to make a second trip through time, but this time he carries a camera in a bid to collect enough evidence. Conclusion the time machine gives a symbolic journey of one million years into the future. This narrative tells the relationship between the Aloy and the Morlocks, which are human subspecies that have developed from class struggles. The time travelers is pessimistic that class struggle will result in horrible beings, which consume each other. Even when he leaves on another journey to the future, he promises to be back with evidence to prove that his perspective for humanity is regressive. As the thesis emphasizes the dangers of master-servant relationships amongst humanity, the time traveler's perception about the ultimate destination of humankind remains a big concern. This story gives the reader an overview and reason to rethink strategies of human coexistence by eliminating class differences. You can find this and many other essay samples on our website studycorgi.com.